There's me and Duke hanging out, and Bobby, and Duke. Ow, don't bite me, Duke. So, I guess this is officially my last update. So, we just got back from our doctor's appointment. 39 weeks today, exactly. And, um... This was the appointment where she was gonna do the ultrasound, you know, to check her growth. And now, Bobby has dropped all the way down to the fourth percentile. That's, this is what's going on down there. But, um, yeah, they said that she's growth restricted and that they are going to induce me tonight or start the induction process tonight nothing will probably happen tonight it's like a long process they start with oh i keep forgetting the name of the medication sir some of the c servidol i think that's what it was called they start with that insert it up and it's supposed to like soften the cervix then after that they she said she'll go in with a balloon Start some pitocin, which I am getting trying to get in my head that it's okay. Pitocin's okay. It'll be fine. I don't know. The word, like, pitocin just scares me, I guess. Um, you know, I didn't really want to be induced. I wanted everything to happen the way it just naturally should happen. Um, so cute. Alright, uh, what was I saying? I don't even know. I kind of just like, I feel like emotionally I'm at this point where I'm shutting down a little bit. Like, this is just disappointment, I guess is the best way to describe it. Of like, not things not going the way I want them to. And like a little bit, because I'm scared of things really not going the way I want them to. Because if it, you know, if it ends up, I'm just induced. And, you know, we just have this baby regular and naturally and everything else goes to plan. Then it's like, literally, it's not that bad. But my midwife wanted to prepare me for worst case scenario because there's a higher risk of some things that, you know, aren't too pleasant. Like, I have a higher risk of C-section now. And there's a chance that she would have to go to the NICU, you know, just being a smaller baby. Um... I don't remember if I said, this is like a second ago I was talking about it, but when they did the ultrasound, she was measuring at 5 pounds and 14 ounces, so yeah, she's a pretty small baby, so there's a chance that, yeah, she's just not going to be able to, I guess, like, keep temperature, I think is what she said, and I don't know, it's, I guess other complications, I don't really understand the whole thing, but yeah, there's a chance of that, which... I don't know. I just want to like have her. I want her to go on my chest. I want her like just everything to be good. I think I found the autofocus. Maybe what's that button do? I don't know. What does button do? Oh, that's how you focus it. Gotcha. My midwife said we should get some preemie clothes and preemie diapers because she's going to be really small. So. My mom's gonna go buy some of that for us, which is really, you know, we definitely have a good support system as far as like getting through this. I called my doula and she was very, hey guys, hey guys. Oh, well, they're just gonna be fighting in the background. Right? <laughs> and, you know, she was, you know, talking me through it and very reassuring like okay like yeah they're here those worst case scenario things can happen obviously. okay sam shh, shh, shh. we're gonna leave the house tonight and the next time we're gonna be here we're gonna come back with the baby i guess i kind of have to keep my mind focused on like that positive thing like i'm about to meet her for the first time which is i don't know it's like that it sucks to say but that thought is so at the back of my mind in front of all these other more negative thoughts um but I guess I just have to focus on that. So, heading out to do a little bit of shopping right now. I spent the last like hour or so just cleaning the house, doing laundry, doing dishes, doing all this stuff that I know I'm not gonna probably have time to do once the baby comes. So, trying to get everything 
ready. Um, I know for a fact that there's no way I can just sit around for the next few hours and wait to call labor and delivery because just, I don't know, my brain's going too much. Like, definitely think it's best to just keep myself busy. Kind of keep my mind off of like this, I guess, the scary parts of what's coming up. Um, but a couple things crossed my mind that, like, one of those just being like, like missing out on the experience of laboring at home, and like missing out on the like getting to tell Chris like, oh, I'm in labor. It's just little stuff like that kind of like makes me sad. I don't know. Like, obviously, it is, you know, everyone has been telling me this. At the end of the day, it's getting a healthy baby into the world. That's what matters. But, I don't know. I was kind of a little bit looking forward to this experience. And, I feel like I'm obviously not getting exactly the experience that I want. But, I could be getting something very, very different to the experience that I want. But, right now kind of just treating myself but going shopping for some clothes my clothes I mean like sweatpants and really comfy stuff stuff that I'm gonna be wearing wanting to wear over the next couple weeks but some like cuter sweatpants and stuff so that when people come over I'll feel a little bit more presentable I also I'm just kind of trying to enjoy the last few moments that I have of like minimal responsibility I feel like I make it sound so bad that this baby's coming into our lives and obviously I don't feel that way. It's just, I know it's gonna be a huge change. It's just so many emotions going on right now and I don't feel like excitement and joy are some of them. Oh, oh, I feel bad even saying it out loud. I think eventually they will be. It's just kind of like working through the other emotions first. Just got home, got a little over 30 minutes to look for the hospital. Just enough time to get my bag together. But check what I got at Walgreens. Mm, they have Blue Bell on sale. Got some spiced pumpkin pecan and pecan pralines and cream. Probably gonna try both of those. Wait for Chris to wake up to give him a try, but also got my lovely hats and a pair of cute socks because for one, they were only a dollar, and for two, that was like on a lot of the hospital checklist things with socks. I plan on bringing my favorite slippers anyways, but might as well have some cute socks to go with it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pack the bag and then about 20 minutes wake Chris up. Try some ice cream and call the hospital. Hey Sam, what's up? Ooh, that's right here. So I just got the dogs fed, about to start. Hello. About to start getting that bag packed. Okay, I'm not gonna film me getting all my makeup stuff together because it's in the room which Chris is sleeping in, so I'm just gonna try and be like really quiet and it's dark in there so just gotta get my makeup stuff together here and hair ties and hair brushes and that kind of stuff and then I'll be packing my clothes for this hospital stay where we're gonna leave with the baby I'm gonna like walk out of that hospital with the baby so weird Hi, I was supposed to call to see when to come in tonight. Okay, what's your name, hon? It's Emily Stutz. Okay, 
Okay, Emily, I'm going to have a bed available for you. If you can be here at 7 o'clock, do you know where to go when you get here? Uh, yeah, the second floor, right? Second floor, Plaza 3, Labor and Delivery, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll be there at 7 then. All right, we'll see you at 7. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. Seven's not bad. I'm glad she didn't say like, oh, come in right now, but that's only an hour, so. Gotta get some stuff together. And just like that, we are about to head to the hospital. Um, running a little bit late. It's like 6.30, it takes us 30 minutes to get there. And we're stopping to get food on the way because I don't think that they're gonna let me eat after they start the induction process. And that could be like two days, so. We stop, get some food, show up a little late, it'll be fine. How's your stomach feeling, Chris? Well, so how's your stomach feeling? Not good. Not good. Good but nervous. Nervous belly. Yeah. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Bye house. This is the last time we're gonna leave you as two. We're gonna come back as three. It's crazy. Mm -hmm.